Yeah, in fact, uh, here is um, just a clip. As on this day, it's number 10, just an image uh, of of a, the um, front page of the local, local paper in Oxford, uh, Mississippi. As you know, Cindy Hyde-Smith, multiple examples of her racism that have come out in the the past weeks, not the least of which are starting uh, talking about public hangings and a refusal to apologize at first and then bringing out, who was it, the the governor or the mayor who was talking about, governor. well, there's a lot of black babies that get aborted. And the real problem is people are trying to twist her words to drive us apart. Right. And, uh, and then reports about, uh, what, sending to segregated schools and uh, all sorts of stuff. I mean- I don't know if um, SB has a shot. Well, he has a shot. I mean, there's only two people running. But um, it's nice, at least, that the message is coming from uh, non-politicians as well. The first female Rhodes Scholar from the University of Mississippi uh, did an interview with the uh, local paper... Uh, the Eagle, and uh, it caught up with the University of Mississippi senior Jazz Brizak. I just like the idea of like we caught up with her. She's moving. She's constantly moving. Uh, she was named. Rhodes Scholars are minor celebrities. Well, at least in North Dakota, are we oh, know our right? Rhodes Scholars? Yeah. Is that right? Yep. Well, that's not Clay Jenkinson. Not in Massachusetts, my friends. Um, was named the 26th Rhodes Scholar in school history last week, the first female. And uh, she's asked, you know, sort of, how does it feel to be the first UM's first female scholar? She says she's honored to be a role model for other Mississippi girls looking for ways to make their voices heard in a state still very much dominated by patriarchal structures. Given that our state amplifies the voices of white supremacist women like Cindy Hyde Smith, who reinforce and uphold misogynist policies, I'm able to provide, uh, I'm glad I'm able to provide a very different example of how an empowered Southern woman acts. Um, Owned. Obviously, job offer. That's the first thing. Now, it, I, something will have gone really, really wrong if you have to take us up on that uh, as a Rhodes Scholar. But, but, but just know, that um, job offered. You could uh, and, and and not only the job offered, pick a job. You can you could take mine here. Frankly, I'd like uh, to do my Sam impression. It'd be awesome if she listened. And she came that in and pretty she was awesome. just like, "Hi, I'm Sam Cedar." <laughs> good, just you got the job. <laughs> I'll call in every now and then. Uh, but uh, good for her. If you are in Mississippi, go out and vote, folks. Uh, and don't vote for the racist. <laughs> Let me just make that clear. Against Sydney Heights. Right. Uh, 